let's start. I want you to list all the non-optimal conditions or situations in your life, but all I mean you can like list uh, the major ones, four or five the most, okay? Just list non-optimal situation in your life. Good. Why are they not handled? Why are they not handled? Okay. How do you fix any broken and non-optimal condition? How do you fix any broken or non-optimal condition? Any. So when you're going to handle any situation, when you're going to handle any situation, you need to look at the situation and first of all, you need to name it. What is the situation? You really have to name the situation. If you don't name the situation as a situation, you are not going to handle it. And this is number one, okay? You need to have a name for the situation. And when I say have a name, you need to, within that, once you have a name to it, you need to write what will, what will happen if it handled, what will happen if it will not be handled. So you've got a name for the situation and then you write what will happen it, if it will be handled and what will happen if it will not be handled. Based on that, you can decide, do you want to handle it, yes or not? You really have to decide, do you want to handle it, yes or not? Because if you decide, no, not going to handle it. It's better than to leave it as an unhandled situation. It will give you a lot of future. Just decide yes or no. Okay. So you've got yes or no. You just make a decision. So if we, you take the current situation, take the first situation that you have and decide yes or not. Okay. Can you do that right now? Just look at the situation, the first situation that you wrote and decide, okay, the, name the situation. Then once you name the situation, what will happen if it will be handled? What will happen if it will not? And then decide, you want to handle it? Yes or not? Simple. Now, if you don't want to do it, then you decide not to handle it. That's it. But it's not about you want to do it or not. It is about what will be the result. Do you want the result, the good result and the bad result? You need to say, okay, the bad result, what will happen if I will not handle it? This is the bad result. And what will happen if I handle it? That's the good result. That's what you need to decide. Do you want the good result the, or you don't mind of the bad result? If you are willing to experience the bad result. Not do you want to do it or not. Now, once once you decide on that, if you decide no, you need to decide, is it a temporary no, like you just want to delay it, or is it a really hard no? I'm going to drop it, okay? If you decide no, you need to decide, is it hard no? That's it, I don't care. I'm leaving it unhindered forever and ever and ever, so I'm closing cycle on it. Or am I going to put a future handling date? But if you decide yes, what you need to do, you need to look at the cycle and to break it down to its part. What are the parts that needs to be handled? Does it make sense? You really need to write down the parts. Just, I need to handle this, I need to handle that, I need to handle that. Just high level. Okay? And then you decide which one is the first one, which one is the second one, which one is the third one, and etc. Fourth, fifth part. Okay? So far, so good. Everyone with me? The last part is you break it down to what needs to be done and then you decide on the priority. First part I'm going to do now, this, this cycle I'm going to do first, 
this cycle I'm going to do second, this is the third cycle. You're going to decide what you're going to do first, second and third, not when, just what, what first, second and third. So once you decided what am I going to do first, second, third, etc. The next thing you're going to do is just decide that you're going to do just number one, not second, not third, not fourth, just number one. Okay, does it make sense? If you don't know how to handle number one, break it down further. If you don't know how to handle number one, break it down further. Find something you can handle within it and you will see you break it down further 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 you, and you do what you find one thing that you can handle and we decide to leave others uncontrolled for the time being uh, we decide either uncontrolled for the time being or which mean we're going to, uh, to decide we're going to do them in the future and make a future or we're going to close cycle totally Okay, everyone with me? Do you understand? If you don't apply, you didn't break it to a small enough cycles or earlier, you skip a step. If, for example, you say, yes, I want to do it, but I want to do it is not the answer. What you're looking for, how bad it's going to be if it's not done. And you need to decide if it's can you have that bed? And once you decide how bad it is, you decide I'm going to do it or not. The problem, if you're not doing it after uh, you start, you broke it down to small parts, etc., is you did not really decide how bad it's going to be. And you decide, yes, I want to do it, but you don't really need to do it. If you delay something, if you delay something, it means that you don't really wants the result or you don't really think that the bad situation is really bit bad because you think ah, I will be able to handle it in the future. You have to do a cycle, you need to decide what's the result of not doing it and what's the result of doing it and based on that decide okay do I want to do it or not? Okay, it should be very straightforward, okay? If it's not an emergency for you, which means you look at the situation and say, no, I don't want to do it, decide to close the cycle. It's better because it will give you enough attention units to handle other cycles. But if not, it will sit in your mind and it will wake you up at night. And while you're doing other things, it will wake you up just because you didn't decide, you know what, I can handle the ramification fine. I'm not going to do it next. If you go in and out of this approach, is you did not do this part. This is not done honestly. You are not honest about the first part. If you don't actually do it, if you start to do the cycle and you get and you say, yes, I will do it. And then you find yourself, you're not doing it. You did not do honestly the first part. Why? Take anyone, think about the, pro, the cycle that you have that you keep on delaying. Think about the uh, cycle that you have and you keep delaying. Okay, think about it. Okay. Now, I want to tell you that if any one of you will do the cycle, you will get, if you do that cycle, this one cycle, you will get $100 million. That will be the reward. But only if you do it tomorrow, will you do it or not? Hundred million dollars. Will you do it? Yes or not? Hundred percent. Yes. Okay. So if the yes is really big, then yes. Yes. Now, if I'll tell you, if you don't do it, if, if you don't do it, you're going to go for jail for the rest of your life. Life in prison without parole. Will you do it or not? So if you don't do it, either the reward you consider not big enough or the punishment is not big enough. So you don't really want to do that, yes? So decide no, because otherwise you're lying to yourself. You say yes, but it's not. And then what happens, because you lie to yourself, you think after that, oh, I'm not to be trusted and I'm useless and I'm not good. And you use it as ways to 
make yourself wrong. Be brave enough to say, no, I'm not going to do it. End of cycle, that's it. It is better to decide, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to create the damage that I know that will come and it's totally okay. And by the way, if you do that, the damage will never come because you put it under your control. The damage will come only if you did not decide because deciding not to do is also you control. Okay, so far so good. It is really, really straightforward. Uh, under the no, you see these two options. Option to do it in the future and option to close it forever. This is really important for you because if you don't do that, if you leave it open, this is the reason why you make yourself wrong and you feel that you are useless and you feel secretly that you cannot be trusted and you feel all kind of lies because you say, well, I know I'm lying to myself. You know that you lie to yourself about that when you say, okay, I'll do it when you're actually not going to do it. You're with me. Just decide no, and uh, someone will come to you and say, are you going to do it? And you say no, and you say, but how come you not do it? I decide not to do it. But what's about the damage? I can have the damage. You will not progress in your life for as long as you cannot make this honest decision, not just the decision, honest decision. Yes, I'm going to handle. No, I'm not going to handle. And if you really do that honestly, you'll see those things that you decided not to handle will not affect you because you actually end cycle on them. You actually, if you decide honestly, I'm going to end cycle of it. I don't going to do that. I'm willing to experience anything that come my way. You will see nothing will come your way. This is a really powerful method to release attention units and to put you back in the driver's seat.